Israeli lawmakers have passed a law declaring the country the, quote, nation state of the Jewish people. The law says only Jews hold the right to exercise the national self-determination in Israel. And critics say it's a betrayal to the country's declaration of independence, which ensured equal rights to all of the country's residents. Joining me now by phone is Robert Berger. He's a reporter for CBS News Radio and is based in Jerusalem. Robert, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. All right, so what exactly is included in the law and what is its significance? Well, like you said, the law simply declares that Israel is the nation state of the Jewish people. That might leave Americans scratching their heads because it's kind of a given, but it formalizes the concept that Israel is a state for the Jewish people. Now, that raises the question, what about Israel's minorities, such as the Arabs, which make up 20 percent of the population? And, you know, it may be more significant what the law doesn't say. For instance, it doesn't include the words democracy or equality. All right. Uh, what's the reaction been to it so far? Extremely negative. The, the Israeli Arabs have described it as a racist law that borders on apartheid. And the Israeli opposition says it goes against Israel's democratic and moral values. Many political analysts here are saying it provides ammunition for Israel's detractors who accuse the Jewish state of practicing apartheid. Robert, uh, several Middle Eastern nations have already publicly condemned Israel for passing what they are calling a, quote, racist law. How could this legislation impact Israel's position on the world stage? Well, it's probably just a storm that will blow over pretty quickly. Israel standing on the world stage is bad anyway, so its allies like the U.S. will continue to stand with Israel, and its adversaries like, say, Turkey will continue to criticize everything Israel does. So why now? Why did the parliament choose to pass this law now? Basically, it's just internal Israeli politics. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is simply trying to appease his right-wing coalition partners and keep them happy. And how could it impact future attempts at a two-state solution? I don't think it'll have any effect at all because the law deals with the state of Israel and not with the Palestinians and the West Bank and Gaza Strip, which are not officially part of Israel. The territorial issues surrounding the two-state solution are a lot bigger and more problematic than this law, which is basically symbolic. At our very own Robert Berger in Jerusalem. Robert, thank you. Thank you, DeMarco.